Danice Boyd here, and today's Motivational Monday episode is titled, Embrace the Small Things. That's right. Today, I want to talk about embracing the small things. So long story short, I was coming up with the theme for this week in the song by Blink-182, All the small things and exactly that phrase just kept going around and around and around in my head and I'm thinking oh my gosh this is such a distraction I'm trying to figure out my theme (laughs) and literally I promise you after a while I was thinking okay let me just stop and just go with it let me just go with it so I went with it and guess where it took me it took me to the fact that this was going to be my theme so I'm like super excited that I went with the flow because I went with the flow. I found out that this is what I was supposed to bring for you because this is something that I have learned to deal with and that is embracing the small things. So yes, me thinking of that song was like a little small distraction, but in all actuality, it was something leading me to something bigger that I needed to do. So I'm here to encourage you that the small things are not always bad. So there's this phrase, don't sweat the small stuff. Now, here's the deal. I know that people say you don't worry about the small stuff, but most of us, what do we do? We actually do, or we try to sweep it up under a rug and we never deal with it. And guess what? Small things become big things. And when it comes to you making money, you need to make sure that you take care of the small things. Because as I say, If your mindset isn't right, your paycheck will never be right. I don't care where your paycheck is. If it's all the way down here or all the way up here, it doesn't matter. If your mindset isn't right, your paycheck can never be right. So today is all about getting your mindset right, right? (laughs) Okay, so like I said before, small things grow to be big things. So instead of just getting rid of them, What I like to do is follow them and see where they take me. So if they're taking me to a bad place, I try to figure out where that bad place is because things that happen in your life stem from somewhere. And it's probably nine times out of 10, something that you need to deal with so that you can move forward. For example, it can actually be a small thing such as excuses. So let's say, for example, you know that you have a purpose. There's something that you are supposed to be doing, but something will always come up and you'll say, oh, I can't do it because of this. Oh, I won't do it because of this. Oh, this happened. So now I can't do this. And that happens to a lot of people. So their excuses are the small things that grow into big things. And so what is that? Those excuses end up turning into the reason why they have not reached their true potential. Because believe it or not, all of us have potential. All of us, you, me, us, we all have potential. And the whole key is literally to live up to that potential. So literally get rid of those excuses. And another one that I see a lot of people do is procrastinate. Thinking that they have more time than money, right? (laughs) Which is a bad phrase. I would get rid of that phrase. So no one knows how much time they have left. So you can't say, oh, I have more time than money. Who knows if you have more time than money? There is no better time than the time right now (laughs) to go ahead and get up and do what you need to do. And one thing that I know is that if you start... Just do five minutes at a time, 10 minutes at a time. Promise yourself that you're going to do something to take you forward in your journey to success or your purpose. And guess what? You will get closer and you will start loving it more, falling in love with it more. I promise you. So if your small things are going to grow to be big things, why don't you plant good seed? And here's another thing that I would suggest. So... This is a big one for me. So if whatever you plant or whatever you allow to be planted. So here's one thing. We can plant our own destiny, right? (laughs) But some people can also plant things into us. And here's the thing. We don't know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. Like we don't know. We have no idea, right? So here's the deal. If you have 
no idea of what they're going to plant, you have to pay specific attention to the seeds that they are planting in your mind because even though those are small seeds when they plant them they can grow unless you take them out before they sprout roots now when they do sprout roots is when it's harder to get out and that's why some of those small things that have happened in the past are now big things that you have to uproot out of your life so with the small things that people plant make sure like I said before, that is something that you can keep. And if it's not, that needs to be something that you cancel out of your mind and replace it with something that you know should be there for you to reach the success that you desire. Now, if there is something that you desire, but you don't know how to put it in words, start literally, start thinking about the things, the big things that you want, right? And if you think about the big things that you want, start bagging back, bag back, and think about where you can start to make it grow. Because everybody out there who's famous now, a lot of them, I would say at least 90% of them, were not born famous and were not born rich. They started somewhere and so will you if you start. So I'm here to encourage you to start. So here's the deal. Today is day, I don't know what, of my blog and content creation journey. I started in June is when I started my planning, probably even May of 2021, okay? I'm not sure when you're watching this, but whenever you're watching this, I started this journey in May or June of 2021, and now it is, the day I'm recording this, is in March of 2022. So here is the deal. If you are seeing this and you see what I'm doing, do not judge your day 10 to my day 300, I don't know, <laughs> whatever day this is, 290. So don't judge or don't judge your day 10 to someone's year 10 because they had their small start. The thing is, a lot of us don't even see where they started. We just see them when they get big. So don't worry about who sees you now, who doesn't see you now, because eventually if you keep going, they will see you. But the key is to not neglect the small things because the small things, what? Become big things. So I've already talked about your distractions, your procrastination, because those are things that start small and will grow big. But now I want to talk about your action. So your action is to see that you need to plant right now, literally. And why? Because action is what causes things to move so go ahead even if you don't know what to do just start doing something towards what it is that you want to do and i promise you all when i first started doing this i thought i knew what i wanted to do and things just kept changing however it's really honestly it's in the same area of where I've been trying to go this whole time and none of this I believe is by coincidence because there are some things that I had to learn along the way and not about necessarily the industry but really about me and I'm telling you as I've said before if you want to see change in the world you first have to be willing to change and you have to do those things to change because I did not have all of the resources I needed for this so instead of saying oh i don't have the resources i'm just going to neglect this small start i said i'm just going to go out here and find them what did i do i bought books i paid into some coaching programs i bought courses because i was not going to leave myself hanging i was going to make this small start because i know that small things become big things so no matter what no matter what you think or what people say or what happens in your life, everything starts with a small thing and it becomes a big thing. I mean, heck, look at yourself. You started, I'm not going to say how you started. Let's just start with the baby part. You started as a baby and now look at you. You're bigger. You're a big thing now. So that's everything in our lives. So if you don't remember anything, just remember to make some great starts, but start somewhere. And if it doesn't go the way it needs to go, cultivate it put some good soil on it or uproot it and put it in some better soil you know do what you have to do but keep that keep that going make sure you grow those good things so that those small good things will become good big 
things, all right? Now listen, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And as usual, if I've given you any value, I would love if you could leave me a heart down below in the comment section, or you can just tell me, hey, you left me so much value. And guess what? I will be so appreciative. So for Friday coming up, this Friday, we're going to talk about not neglecting the small things in your business or your success journey, because these things are going to be very important to if you make it or if you fall flat. And the key here is to know that you don't have to fall flat, all right? Just start with those small things that are important to you, important to your life, and important to your success journey, but more important than that, to your purpose, because who you are is full of purpose. So plant those small things, let them become big things. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.